It's the liquor of ages, the tonic of conquerors. Find your spark. Gin and tonic, making men into giants since 1857. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Papa. Hey everybody, Friday as always, we're giving this a little bit of a revenge swing, didn't do too hot last time, made a few changes, I don't think I liked Bonds and Faith last time, just because if it's out there, it's safe, it is or, or like a symbiotic to the attacking structure, but if uh, they have Apostles Blessing, things like that, there's ways of making it fall off. So uh, I went with uh, 17 lands, 16 are basics. I'm only running one step. Um, I know Heltiuk has done a ton of 5-0s with two main, but I just didn't didn't like it. It's too too aggressively curved, but I didn't want to get flooded either. Um, I'm in love with Deathblade Elite. I am running all four. Just a personal thing. You've probably run three. I like four. I'm giving Defiant Strike a go this week with the four of. Obviously, a nice little cantrip there. Cartouche and the four bodyguards to make up for my lack of one drops in uh, with regards to both uh, God's Willing and the uh, Emerge Unscathed. So we got four of these. Only three Seekers this week. Four Chalmano, four Mutagenics, four Lagonia, and four Umbras. In the sideboard, three Lifelinks. Uh, there's been a lot of burn lately, and uh, without our Cat's main, I was finding it necessary to have this. Oh, it's just always a good catch-all card. Two Gut Shot, two Bearers, three Blinding Soul Eaters, four Fairy Macabre, because we cannot beat Moments Peace Lockout, and one Aura Fracture. So without further ado, Let's hope that we do a little bit better than last time. Let's see what we got. Mike Man, Ken Waku, Lovecraft, everybody's in the house. Nim Chimsky and Shirazaman is back. Welcome back. Maybe you can tell them in chat we are all worried about you. But you're back. Oh, what is this? A new little swing out here. Oh, there we go. All right, let's let's start this off. Hey, we're screwed right out of the gates. Mulligan. That's an easy case. Well, We'll keep. Hopefully we can see another plane. And it's not the step. All right. Let's see what we got here. What's up? Says, why do we need such a long name? SRS Business. How do you? Great job with the land destruction deck last week. That was actually, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. That is probably my favorite deck in a long time. I, I just love it. Hey, hey, says Nutador Actual. And yeah, I'm back from the Stone Age, says Shirazaman. Icoon7. Hey, what's up? And Kunz Frazen. Glad to be able to catch a live stream. Yeah, hopefully we can win some stuff. All right. Here we go. Come on, uh, land soon, and then we should be off to the races. Another reason I like Bodyguard's main over spells is the uh, Aptic and Gerard's Verdict and Edict effects to, I think, combat how popular this deck is getting, but that's not going to matter if we don't get a uh, one of our soldier dudes that attacks and swings and does good stuff. Oh, boy. I'm not sure I like this. Let's attack and draw a card, and hopefully we can get into a... Um, Plane. If he blocks, that's fine. Now, bodyguards not that important against an elf deck, but without that's why I like to run four of the um, Deathblade Elite because it's one of the only ways to beat elves in the first game. It's a little weird here. Ugh, boy. All right, we're already in trouble. <laughs> Up against elves, got one mana. Mulligan threw the other one back. Can tripped. No land. Ho. I have no idea, Mike, man. Ask one of the uh, our lo loving co-pilots, either Little Fight or Shirazaman. I'm just the old man behind the screen trying to play this. This is going to be a quick first game. Hopefully we can uh, pull something off here. Yeah, the only uh, issue that we were having with uh, the land destruction deck were, were Key and Peel skits. That's uh, for some reason there. Uh, I looked at the last time we played a version of this. I had a Key and Peel skit, and that's why it got bounced. So it's only Key and Peel's lawyers that are really, really all over the place with that stuff. Good grief. 
Well, I can at least try to buy some time here. I don't think we're winning this game for anything. He's going to power up. Maybe we can trick him into trading a vanguard for a bodyguard. We'll see. As far as business, slightly hungover. Pumped up for popper. Usual Friday. <laughs> nice. What were you drinking? Some Marie Lager, as we like to say. This is over, guys. I think I'm just going to go to it. He's going to be able to gain crazy amounts of life. And our mana is hiding from us. That's the one. Woo. -hoo. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Off to game two. That was quick. We really need mana. Let's see how far away it was. Drop. 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 It's almost like it knows I'm streaming. Hey, look at that. There we go. Okay. We're kind of pre-boarded. I'm going to bring in the standard bearers over the bodyguards. I like lifelink. Maybe one of those. Bodyguards I'm not too concerned about. I love the death blades. Those are going to stay. We can probably lose some other stuff here. Soul Eater I'm not too worried about. Especially with Query and Ranger on the board. That's just going to eat up time. Gut shot might be all right. I'm going to bring in two gut shot. Leave out one mutagenic and a cartouche. Where are you? There you are. Not too many edict effects worried about there. So you might consider taking out Seeker since there's just so much traffic. But let's go like this. See what everybody's saying here. Oh, uh, 16 planes, one step. Because uh, I wasn't brave enough to go 15 planes, two steps, like a lot of 5-0 lists have had. I uh, saw the logic on both sides of it. Figured I'd just play it safe down the middle. Time to step up the land. <laughs> All right, 16 planes and four steps. Always wanted to... Yeah, I'm, I'm so far... I've had like three practice games with this, and I've only seen it uh, twice. It was 50-50. One time I really liked it. The other time I, it kind of slowed me down. So, good afternoon, Ken and Spectacle. All right. Let me just do a quick uh, once over here. Here we go. Boop. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go. Man, again with that. We don't have a one drop. I'm going to throw this back. Don't want to be killed right out of the gates. Okay, we got flyer. We got life. We'll keep. I'd really like to see our soldier show up. I'm not going to say no to this. Top. I'll get that sky guard going off real quick and just try to finish this extremely quickly. What's funny is uh, playing uh, land destruction about two tournaments. I had one real good one, one real bad one. Um, was how often elves gets flooded. It just cracks me up. Let's see. We don't. Uh, uh, it's going to be quite the race here. All right. Let's get this on board. And hopefully they're not playing any sort of weird shenanigans of gut shot. Of course, we've got the mutagenic, but you never know anymore with these rogue lists. That's going to be a problem. That's pretty much uh, true of any elf card, right? It's like, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hey, there's another problem. Now it's like, why, are, why am I not playing land destruction now? It's like he's stuck on one land and... Could be pinging stuff with witches. Arg. All right. To go or not to go. I'm going to bring out our life package because, uh, you know, who's coming down next. Except for... Yeah, play a little conservative here. I want to turn on the life. Maybe be able to block some goods. I'll just hit modestly here. It's got a big turn coming up. Well, we really wish we had some journeys. And I have all four of the hate cards, and we haven't seen one of them yet. So that kind of sucks. Here comes the big bruiser. Down goes the life. 300 at London. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, Shiraz, why didn't you go, man? Not like any technology in your house was working, right? All right. So that's going to get real big next turn. So till then... Let's make sure that this lives when I cast or when it runs into things. I'll throw the Umbra on that. And then the armor on the Skyguard. Trying to get this life going up. 
Do -do. Click on this, click on this. Hey, didn't. Alright. Coming on over. Let's see what we can see. Sure, let's do this. And kaboomba. Gain our life back a bit. Hopefully he doesn't go crazy. A little dilemma here with the uh, timber watch. You gotta get the power out, but you also wanna get enough life to stay alive against the flying. Kiki Jiki! What hate cards does, uh, for elves exist in Popper and in, or you mean in white? Uh, the Defiant, uh, what is it? Elite? Deathblade Elite? Yeah, the 1-1 uh, one, one has Provoke. You can just uh, start, especially if it has First Strike, it's pretty pretty nasty. But there's a lot of First Strike in this deck. That's why I choose to run four of them. It just helps against everything. I even like it against Control. I never side it out. Because, you know, they drop that one last Mold Drifter or that one Seagate Oracle and you're, you know, they're blocking your best guy. It's like, no more! You could still, you could still go. I don't think he's going to have enough here. Next turn, he might be able to pull this off, but... Yeah, it's, it's tough to, uh... Yeah, I find Holy Light's nice surprise card, but it still tends to get through. And then uh, if it is games two and three, a lot of times just a spider silk and that, that plans out the door. All right, let's get ugly fast. No more elves, dismissal, kill. Here we are. Yikes. Got two more mana, three, four. Depends. All right. Yeah, I've been having a, my land destruction deck since I moved uh, Kumbaji, which is main at a four count now. I uh, haven't lost one game to Elves since, I've, but I've never won 2-0. It's always a close call. You get games like, like this where they're able to squeak through and get some pretty big things going. So we got a double play and a block with the Vanguard next turn. Let's see. That thing's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, so I moved, uh, I went up back up to 20 basics. I lost the retrace just, in, and I went with all basics for about two tournament outings with the, I'm talking about the mono black list now. And because I lost the Radiant Fountains altogether because I have two tendrils main and I wanted to optimize those. But I think coming back to two is the right number, arriving at two uh, tendrils. And then two Radiant Fountains. That's what I'm trying anyway right now, so we'll see. <laughs> Come on. If we don't draw anything, we at least got a blocker and a pretty good swing with some life this turn. Of course, you can untap Vanguard. Block. Depends. All right. Would love to gain some life, but not quite worth it. Well, unless we got mutagenic. I'll probably put them over the top. Not like you can cast instant speed elves. And I need to with a timber watch. Yikes. This turn became very desperate all of a sudden. Curious if it might make more sense to uh, enchant the uh, seeker just to gain the life to try to withstand the next shot because we can't kill him. He's at 16. That helps things. I've got one little blocker. Also, I'm Papa Gunner. Come in and let me know. I'm only a couple hours away from the weekend. Sweet. Lost Nation JC. Good to hear from you. Hurrah. Huh. Well, we got a blocker, but it's not going to matter much with the Timber Watch. But he can't uh, trigger it because he returned his land already. So, 
this changes things. I'm going to want to gain a lot of life here. And we're going to want blockers. Let's do this for the blocker. It's going to be able to trip that twice. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to withstand a shot here, guys. Yeah, I think we gotta we gotta enchant the seeker with ethereal armor to just have enough life to try to do something. He can't untap anything. He blocks probably with the sentinel. Gain quite a bit of life. Ah, what do you guys think? One, two, three. I'm going to rock like that. Get our life buffer up. Never know it. Elves has a way of snowballing. So I just want to get our life as high as possible. We can't kill him this turn. But we can get close and gain nine life. Which will at least negate some of the... Uh... This is scary. I wouldn't have seen that play in about a million years. It's almost scary that he did that. It's like, what does he have in his hand that... Made that a good move. Or maybe he started the weekend early. Who knows? Sure feels better here. Or he might just have gut shot and be able to kill the Vigilance and build, build, build. Whoop. Mono White Rogue feels like a worse hexproof. I feel I feel the opposite, Kenwaku. I, I think it feels like a faster hexproof. <laughs> But boy, it's awesome. And if anybody's been over to uh, Pure MTGO, the little weekly breakdown that they do, there was some 5.0 list that looks really janky, but it, it 5.0, it ran, um, what they call it, Goblin Aristocrat. Maybe we'll talk to talk about it at the end of the show. So, Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a ultra punt, but can't imagine why you wouldn't just block with the Sentinel there. But yeah, it's just even people that don't play popper a lot are starting to mention it, and it's getting it's getting pretty big for its britches. I love it. It's neat to see it. Lots of new players, meeting pe new people every week. Hope you guys are too. Good times, good times. Thirty-three is normally a kind of a safe zone against most decks, not elves. Elves is an incredibly relaxing deck to play because your opponent can have like 300 life and it's like, it's no biggie, I'll get there. Like in two swings. <laughs> or the other side of it, you have like 300 life. It seems like uh, the logic's bottomed down to like, what is it, the, the two distant melodies and four stampedes are in most lists, I think. Not quite sure. Ha! Ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I can just go to MTGO online. They list the same stuff, too. All the deck lists. Here we go. Better aim for the grannies. <laughs> I just can't get over that in uh, two games we haven't seen one elite yet. It's like I'm only running four of them. I think I'd see him a little bit more here. An enchantment or something wins. Anything other than a creature or a land here is what we want to see to trigger our seeker. Come through with something here. Yeah, this deck didn't really have competitive legs against elves until uh, Deathblade Elite. And with it being the top deck, that's another reason I run four of them. But it's not enough right now, is it? <laughs> this chat took a weird turn, it did. 
<laughs> not quite sure. I'm not reading everything, so sorry. Yikes, more life. Must kill this turn, even with it. Punt shows the strength of elves. You gain enough life, you can make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Not sure if I'm going to play in the challenge this weekend just because of the Super Bowl and all. Not that big of a football fan, but in my business, we pay attention to the commercials. So. All right. Oh, here we go. Come on, let's have a fast game, not a long game, elves. 16, 9, yikes. Bodyguard, if he doesn't gain any more life. Kablamo. I think Melody's in the can hear a melody. No? The melody blast. I don't know if I've ever played this person before. Optimistically obtuse. Interesting. So Shiraz, did you, ex you explain, what was it that you had some like construction company that blew up all your access to the internet? I forget. It was very late when I contacted you about that. One, two, three, four. Huh? All right, let's see. That'll gain life. Let's see if we can draw a bodyguard here. Something maybe to poke through some extra damage. Maybe another ethereal. Draw something good. Come on. Oh boy, one more mana would be very nice. Oh, we're dead here. That uh, that well wisher is going to do too much. Unless he just doesn't block. But we do have an Umbra on it, so that'll give us another blocker if I do run into this. See what we can see. At least represent we might have a trick. Not that it would do much. Thank you, Umbra. Life and a blocker. Don't think it's going to mean much with the Well Wisher. The only good news is that he's another strange uh, alpha swing planned here. All right. Put out our other creature. He gains one life, but it might make a difference. And now he's going to gain 500 life and shut the door on us pretty quick. One more swing maybe, but I don't think so. I love Chow Manos. Majority of decks have one kill color or one color, be it. Makes everything into a voice of all. At instant speed. Gets around a spell. It's a beautiful card. Yeah, there's not many outs here, SRS business. But after, I'm a little hopeful with that uh, Timber Watch block earlier. Maybe, maybe that'll spell hope. <laughs> yeah, in our business, we're always really focused on the Super Bowl ads, so it's kind of required viewing. Pretty sure Tom Brady and the Pats are going to do it. That Belichick's quite the mastermind. Giving him two weeks to prepare for a game is like, whoa! Uh, yeah, I think we're done here too. Like I said, there's enough punts that have been witnessed. <laughs> I 
the biggest I ever punted with like a goblins deck or with a carrion feeder, the Mograder and the carrion feeder. Sometimes you can click too fast and just sacrifice stuff to itself. You're like, wait. One of the rare examples of online playing being way more, uh, what would you call it, uh, just brutal. Whereas like in, you know, that that's just not even a thing you could do in real life play unless you went out of your way to try to overtly lose. Well, one little click of your index finger and bam, did, did, did. Yep. Yeah, we, we lost we lost fast out of the gates. No Deathblade Elite showed up, got run over, stuck at one land in game one. Game two, a little ray of hope with a uh, punt block via our opponent, which is the only reason I'm hanging out here, but with the ability to gain pretty much exponential life here. I think we've got one swing left. I should probably scoop here, but you never know. Draw. Maybe, uh, you never know, maybe he'll uh, <laughs> distant melody himself to death. We'll block, and then he'll draw nothing, win via mill. Yeah, there's always hope, baby. Boop. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. I see. All right. Yeah, stuff's been pretty bug free lately. I wonder when they're going to fix spinning darkness. Speaking of a last week in the uh, builds, but I don't see it. Maybe a one of. It's just there's just so much as far as that uh, mono black deck last week. There's so much stuff that that wants to eat out of the yard that you know if you sleeve it up and look at it, it'd be like yeah I want it. And then you're like wait a minute, do I really want to see this all the time? I'm starting to even think even the tendrils might might be needing to go. I'm not I'm not sure. It's, I've never seen a deck make chittering rats such an MVP though. You lock them out. And then you just shut the door on hope when you drop the chittering rats. t core 2, yeah, it is. Uh, but it's so buggy. I think it's probably the longest running bug now. I know they, they fixed a lot of them a few weeks ago, but that one still just ramps it up. Suey Black might actually have a little little bit of legs if it is just too... Black's just too blockable. Then you start taking those two life, three life, four life... I'm just hanging out here, guys, hoping that he does a melody mistake or something. I'm up against it because we're already down one game. So if this, if we had won game one, I probably would have scooped. But never know. Ooh, doo -doo. Should it? Should NBC be running darkness in paper? I don't think so. It's kind of, it's just kind of sluggish and weird. It's it's one of those optimal cards. It's kind of like how a uh, snuff out felt in the land destruction deck. It's like when you needed it and it's there, it feels genius. Otherwise, you're just like, what's this doing here? It kind of sits in your hand a little bit and then makes you worse against like mono black control, which will sit there and just keep it in your hand with a rat. So it just always made me think like, oh, maybe you need to play uh, not in mono black control, but in um, the land destruction one that so has an issue with burn. It's like, well, maybe we need to play bottle gnome so we can at least nuke our own dude with uh, um, yeah, what was the spell I was just talking about? Like something like spinning a spinning darkness with that's just six life, but it was, no, that only works when you sacrifice it. Never mind. Hello, tree terra tops. Good to see ya. A 40 elf Vanguard. Yeah, I still want darkness to come come into rotation. Not another web streamer. Good to see you. Glad. Thank you for joining us. We are getting obliterated by an elven army. That's going to gain life. If you're just joining us, I'm hanging out for the distant melody spectacle. Or heck, at this stage, maybe for the timeout. Here comes the swing. Here comes the swing. I haven't even been paying attention. Is there a uh, timber watch? Wow. All these cards and there's only one in the yard. Stranger than fiction. I'm here for the timeout. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, I'm just my last string of hope. We got brutalized in game one, stuck on one land, so we're gonna uh Come on, Melody. Something. Dum -dum -dum. Some really pretty art here. It almost looks like a Rakdos color palette here with that cape and the blood and kind of the mountains into the cape. Very cool. <laughs> Decor. <laughs> You splash black for Pyresis, I'd have to see that. Get in there with some infect damage. Surprise, surprise! Gain all the life you want. Smack! I've always had a crush on the card blessing of leeches. That thing is so so roguey. I just love it though. It's a lot like Chalmano's Blessing. Flash, nice little kind of way to shut people off of hate and stuff. Only cost you a life a turn. One of those neat cards, too. The design of it is so, like, I guess the right word's organic to, like, what it does in the game and what it means in real life and stuff. Very cool. Ah. Boy, where do the cards seem awfully negative today? Opponent's not that bad to melee kill themselves. Deluxe, you ever play the Blessing of Leeches combo deck? Oh, I've tried Blessing of Leeches a lot of times. Always, always blah. But I still love it. Great stuff. Man, look at these things grow. Wha bam! Madamix7 in the house. Missed you earlier. Sorry about that. Ah, come on. This is over. God, he's only got 73 life. Maybe there's some new quadruple strike. <laughs> I'm Chimsky. Idea for a commercial. Chow Mano's blessing. Feeling like you need some holy strength? Call this number. Choose your color. Get blessed. Dollar a minute. Nice. Reminds me of those old uh, RoboCop commercials. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Um, Ever grow in the house, the elf queen. Yeah, we're we're praying for a uh, error here because we're definitely gonna go oh one for our first out here. Mm hmm. Kunstfrazen, new goblin storm deck coming. A clog, or have you abandoned the idea? The goblin storm deck coming along. Uh, I'm not quite sure. There's so, there's so many flavors of the week. The biggest, the biggest drawback to doing a show like I, you know, I mean, how boring would this be if it was like stompy every week? It wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't do anything. So I'm always trying to find something. I just uh, had a pretty bad heroic outing last time. And this time I was hoping to at least start off strong, but it looks like we're not going to <laughs> smack. All right. Well, at least he beat us the old-fashioned way. Crunch. All right. Off to game two. Hopefully it's better than that. Big LL to start this one off. Sorry, it took a while. Should have listened to Vice and Scoop, but hey. Yes, her elf play is very impressive. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not not wild about the one step. I think if uh, not that it meant a difference yet, but I'm going to try it out in tournament, see how it's going. Healthy definitely does a lot, pretty awesome there. So, yeah, Elvis Vanguard was the real hero on that game. That's for sure. <laughs> ha. But yeah, I, I can't. I just can't get over my love of that Black Land Destruction deck. I'm just loving it. Always want to play it. Definitely not the best deck out there, but I sure like it. And if you're not playing what you like, what's the point? Ooh, boy. What's the vote here, guys? We're on the play. We've got a, we've got a draw card and, and a defiant strike. I'm leaning towards keeping this because we've got a turn two play and a draw, double draw. 
Popper Canada, have you worked on any spots that have aired during the Super Bowl? Yes, I cut a um, Olympic spot, but that was, gosh, f four Super Bowls ago. Whenever the last summer Olympics was. I'm going to try to put in together some more vids. Sneep. <laughs> yeah, that's a... I think we'll keep this. Technically got two draws. Not sure what we're up against. Hopefully it's not elves again. Of course, that is the most prominent deck right now, according to Goldfish. I'm not sure if the math really works there, but I know it's in the top top one or two. It's nice to see the new Affinity decks running the uh, Disciple of the Vaults. Ship it up, man. You can't afford another screw. I can afford anything. Here we go. Yeah! Look on that bland trailblazer. Hey! Yeah, my little frame for today. I, I miss Yoshin Soldier, I, the, the old artwork. I used to always, like, ritualing that out. Looks like we're up against Burn, so this will be a nice fast one, at least. Way back, like, in the dark, back when Little Fight taught me the game, kitchen table stuff, I used to always like to ritual out Yoshin Soldiers with Unholy Strings because there wasn't that much removal back then, especially anything compared to Popper. And, uh... Yeah, we're out of range here. I'm just going to try to draw a card. And so those things could hold down the fort all the time. New art just sucks on them. Come on. All right. Well, at least we're out of range here. Interesting there. Okay. Well, let's get some more dudes out. Out of Fire Blast range. Laguna's a nice card. To, I mean, I'd much rather have Seeker out and a lot of mana. At least here we're trading. Three for a turn. Don't know if that was a uh, bluff move or I just didn't understand the uh, toughness of that Trailblazer, which is incredibly big back sided. So. Down goes the warrior. I was afraid of that. Turning this stuff on now. Dang it. I'm just going to keep enchanting this. I consider us to be at about four life right now. <laughs> Where is Boy, mana issues galore. It's funny. At 17 basics, almost never felt this crunch before. Now it's like, God, I think of drawing the step now. What a nightmare that would be. All right. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Mike, man. Yeah, Super Bowl is just kind of a... What would you call it? More of a... Um, oh, boy. Metagenic. I don't want to see you. I want to see you. But does Metagenic get us there? That'll put us at six. We're out of Fire Blast range. After this math goes down, I think we got enough to get there with one mana. Good times. Gotta like a deck that can win on one mana. Bam! As we gain the life, smack a perfect 10. Boom! Just enough at six. Hopefully they have Fire Blast. At that point, that's when you want them to have it. One mana win. That's kind of cool. wonder how far away our mana was. I probably should have looked. Obviously, Lifelink is coming in. I'm going to bring in Standard Bears 2. I'm going to lose one Mutagenic. Actually, I'm going to lose two. Umbras I like. I'll lose a cartouche. This gets us out of range so quickly with any bolts, but I just hate paying life, so I'm gonna take a chance and just get rid of these altogether. I know I can I can respond with two life if they're if they're trying to tweak something, but they're pointing stuff at our guys. Gonna have time here. Well, Death Blades are good even against Burn because you can turn off all their amplifier dudes. 
let me let me put him two of these back all right let's see what everybody's seeing here metagenic wins it says maverick girl not a sports fan but i always it's blessing even good here i like <laughs> against a one color deck i like it Eight six, so negative. What is up with you guys, man? It's like a little hate train. All right, all here to have fun, man. Let's promote the format, baby. Keep it positive. All right, two mana, feeling good. Rather that be a uh... ah. Ooh, well. Oh boy, I'm so tempted to not keep this. Oh, I like it against them all. Oh, get it 3 3. They can't drop any other creatures. Just, oh, this is a tough one. Not sure I want to really go the Death Blade route. I mean, we won the first one, but if we can get that one of the Umbras to stick and our lifelink shows up, it'll be all she wrote. I'll keep it. Two lands. Time for Deathblade to show its stuff. That's right. Here we go. This is going to really suck if he's got the uh, Searing Blaze, which is very possible. Come on, be a creature. Be the creature. Don't be Searing Blaze. No. All right, up against it now. Ah. <laughs> Come on, something. <laughs> Another one drop. Now we want that zero four so we can. Or the lifelink. Boy, hesitant turns here. Killer Tofu's in the house. What's up? Not boating well. Hmm. Would have been nice to have that in different order. Well, there's the those lands we were looking for. Yes. Let's assume he's got fire blast. So we're at seven. All right. Seeker, yay. Might have a shot. Depending on what he's got. I'll throw this on here now. Buy a little insurance. I love the bodyguard. A few games I play with Heroic, this is always the scenario where you're kind of tapped out and don't necessarily have the uh, mana to use. Emerge unscathed or God's willing, but bodyguard just sits out there and mops up edicts and love it at four but here comes the amplifier what has he got hopefully it's not a bunch of bad stuff all right let's gain some life i think we can shut the door here outside of just a crazy attack I think we got this one. Attack! I'll go for it since we've got double double drawback protection. Don't want him to be able to block. Let's get it on in there. One, two, three. Stagger shock to the face. Gets us to eight, gets us to seven, that gets us to three, that gets us to two if he's got fire blast. Ouch. Stagger shock. Don't see that one much. Neat thing with this artwork, if you put them back to back, I forget how I did it, but it makes almost like this weird heart of fire. It's a neat thing that the artwork does there. Pretty awesome. 
no blocks for you. Obviously block the bodyguard, but all right, back at the keyboard. What did I miss? Not much. All right, here we go. These new amplifiers, the Archer and the Alchemist, boy, it's it's turned burn into a thing of beauty. I've had games, I'm sure you all have too, where you're just, you think like, oh man, totally got this. And it's, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. One more of those and tss, you can just smell your flesh burning. <laughs> yeah, definitely got bolted. We drew everything in kind of backwards order. It would have been nice to lead with bodyguard and at least have, have some sort of thing there. Rock on. Like we got 41 viewers in the house. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Good to see all of you. Already at 11. It's got three cards in hand. All of a sudden, this lifelink isn't feeling that, that great. Actually, if he taps out for any, I'm really tempted to just completely get sack the bodyguard for nothing here, just so he, I don't have a uh, he doesn't have a target there. But let's do. This to make it bigger. That is one hard to kill seeker. That dude's been all over the world. He knows all the tricks. Whoop whoop. Attacking. And let's see, that would be eight, nine, bit two. Gain all the life I can here. I'm going to put it on this just because. Kinoku, boss left the room. Back to propaganda. <laughs> All right. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Hey, maybe he's got... Uh, let's go with red again. Just trying to gain as much life as possible here. It's going to block this, right? All right. Cool. Okay, there's that. Good, I was worried Seeker didn't have enough protection. I know, right? Crazy. He's got that, we're down. I didn't want to put it on the bodyguard in case uh, I plan on um, pitching it. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm gonna pitch this to itself. I don't want him to have any. Want him to have dead cards if he draws uh, searing blaze. He's got. Pretty sure we got this. I'll take a whole lot of needle drops, strung out, some fire blast back up. Beautiful lands. Uh oh, down to nine still. Look at all this gaining life, and it's almost not enough against burn. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> all right, so we're one one. Got L's, got this, and I've got to use the facilities, guys. So chat amongst yourselves. We'll be back after these commercial messages. <laughs> Welcome to Sideboards Explore. Here are the cards you should always look to first when building a proper popper sideboard. First on our list is Coral Knight. Being able to eliminate the worst threat on the board for one mana makes this card shine, especially for a color that lacks good removal. Crypt Incursion's ability to eat aggro players' graveyards and gain horrific amounts of life are not to be overlooked. Crypt Rat's capability to kill everything on the board is awesome. Make sure to master the multiple activation tricks to get rid of pesky undying critters in one swoop. Curfew punishes players for going all in on a creature. It's especially good versus Kiln Fiend decks and Hexproof. Curse of Chains can be used as removal in any white or blue decks. Great for isolating threats like Gurmag Angler. Duress goes a long way towards ruining your opponent's game plans on the very first turn. At worst, you get free intel on your opponent's hand strength. Electricery is one of the best mass removal spells in the game. For years, commoners were forced to brew with cards like Seismic Shudder to combat small armies. Not anymore. 
Flaring Pain is the only answer outside of a counterspell for some of the most powerful fog effects Popper has in its arsenal. Ghastly Demise is one of the most efficient removal spells in all of Magic, so long as your opponent isn't of the Swamp Persuasion. Gleeful Sabotage is a flexible card versus artifacts and enchantments, allowing a 2 for 1 removal effect for a small amount of tempo loss. It's a great starting point for dealing with artifacts and enchantments. Gorilla Shaman is hate at its finest. This card obliterates affinity decks. However, never cast this without backup mana. Gutshot is simply amazing. You're able to eliminate the majority of early popper threats. This is the card you should be playing with in almost every deck you brew. Hydroblast and Pyroblast are fantastic catch-all options for decks that run enemy colors. Lumithread Field is nasty tech for decks that aim to go wide by playing a lot of little creatures. The majority of mass removal comes in black and red, and aside from early discard, once this sticks, it's impossible for black or red mages to remove it. Martyr of Ashes is often forgotten in red decks and sideboards. While it often doesn't activate for more than 2 or 3 damage, if designed around, this card can be an absolute backbreaker. Moment's Peace often feels like multiple time walk effects on the battlefield. Do not underestimate the power of fog. Okiba Gang Shinobi. This is the card your opponent never wants to see. If left unanswered, it can turn the tide of battle if not dealt with immediately. Prismatic Strands. If you have access to white mana, you should be running this. It can often act as a one-sided Wrath of God. Obviously good versus big red spells like Rolling Thunder or Fling, its ability to flash back makes the power of this card border on being absurd. Rancid Earth's dual nature with regards to its threshold bonus makes your sideboard feel like it has access to 19 cards. Clearly a wonderful card versus Tron and other mana-hungry decks, it's also a great board sweeper for small creatures. Relic of Pergentius is a necessary evil in many sideboards and metagames. Remember you can trip this while your own graveyard recursion spells are on the stack. For example, Raven's Crime, buying you a card and saving your own graveyard synergy. Serrated Arrows is especially mean with effects that can return it like poor Skyfishers. This card can really put the brakes on opposing tactics, usually gaining you a 3 for 1 advantage. Shrivel is one of the most feared cards in Popper. Because it actually doesn't do damage, it's almost impossible to prevent. Be careful when you cast this, however, it's usually best before attacking, as it affects your creatures too. Snuff Out exemplifies sneaky removal and shines versus Kiln Fiend style decks. It's wonderful for stopping recursion loop combos even when tapped out. Standard Bearer can be gruesome versus decks like Stompy, Elves, Hexproof, etc. The play mistakes and game tempo this card causes are legendary. Stormbound Geist is a superb option for blue mages in both the mirror as well as heavy removal deck matchups. Silvok Lifestaff is a bastion of hope against damage, brilliant in creature combat. Be careful when playing this as it can really make games go long. Remember to watch your clock. Veridin Longbow is magnificent for the same reasons Gutshot is, only with the Longbow you get to keep doing it. Finally, Wretch Mind is the closest thing Popper has to the staggering power of Himnaturok. So much so that many of our designs, when warranted, include artifact lands just in case we run into this. And we're back. I think we're going to keep this. We've got uh, three lands technically. We'll draw one into double creatures. We'll keep this. Just join says, oh, let's know. We got uh, trounced by elves. Uh, just obliterated. Our tech didn't show up either game and we got mana screwed in the first and then we uh, beat burn just this last round it felt like a blowout game too I mean if you looked at the board I had like a 8-8 lifelink protection from red creature and I was nervous the whole game it was like every every turn he seemed like you almost almost could get there all right let's hope this is the of the red variety and not the mono blue depending on what this is so many cards preordained probably one of the very best cards in bopper if you're going to say that it would definitely be arguable well now let's start attacking this is more important against a blue base deck than umbra in case we run into a daze here Yeah, this deck is pretty dead in the water to elves if you don't have the elite in game one, two, and three. <laughs> Down comes the red. That's when we love to see this big backsided beast. Go and get you some. All right. So now we like the step. So we've seen it once. We we like it. But we are a little bit flooded here. Now we're really flooded. I just wish 
like maybe the cartouche would make like an artifact creature. That'd be pretty cool. I will attack with this. See what he's got. Come on, man. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold on to the mutagenic. Life can be very precious against a Kionfin deck. Especially if he's running Blessing. It's kind of out of favor right now for Dive Down, a lot of people. Ponder. What's your vote? Ponder or Preordain? Which one's better? I actually lean towards Preordain. I'm playing um, Tireless Tribe. I always liked seeing that one better than Ponder, but it doesn't let you dig as deep. So that part sucks. All right. Let's keep our life total up. Man, these old... Oh, this is Mirage Lands, right? Yeah, yeah. Had a nice land cycle back then. Let me ponder that. Oh, Mike, man. I'm going to block with both here. Okay, so if we do that, that's three, four. We can kill it if we made a genic. Just um, got to pay attention to if um, being that that would be trample. It's actually probably going to be worth that. He makes that double strike. Ugh. So that's 30 coming over. If we go to 18, make that 6, 7. We block. Still dead, but at least it's something. I haven't broke out the abacus here, but I'm pretty sure we're dead. This will be a fast one. Plop. All right. So standard bear comes in. Soul leader comes in. Nice way to tap a creature. I'll take out three death blades, maybe even four. Well, I'll keep in two. If I get one early with first strike on it, it can kind of shut him out. Actually, with that being said, I want to put it back up to three. So I just always love that card. Ho! Oh, great, great. I'll lose an Umbra. Let me lose two Umbras. A strike and a bodyguard. Let's hope. Here we go. Ponder for digging, preordain for draw fixing. Oh yeah, I forgot I asked a question. What a jackass. Yeah, with Chow. I agree, SRS Business 42. Good stuff. Make sure to write that down. Kelvin. This is actually in the listing, according to Goldfish, this is like one of the more unpopular top decks now. I don't know why. I think... Always does well against me. Ay, ay, ay. If we know we're going to draw a land, this is an okay hand. we got to ship this back. Well, I'll keep this. That's darn it. Drawing our tech, but we need land before we can do that. So let's throw that back. Let's, uh, son of a gun. Let's, uh, let's drop this first just in case maybe he's on delvers too anything to stifle it down we need to draw some land all right gonna play paper popper tomorrow says olish but i have not put a deck together oh man i do not miss doing that when i played a uh, paper magic so many hours wasted just kitchen table fluttered with cards no matter how organized you are it's not enough all right, 
do what we need here. I'm going to drop Bodyguard, Blazer, and then we'll start going crazy next turn. I really want to first strike something rather to show up. Kind of going to, with uh, Chow Mano out, or with Bodyguard out, I should say. It's nice to have that Death Blade out there, being able to pump stuff, but never know. Of course, you can always Chow Mano his own uh, Kiln Fiend to make it protection from red, but a lot of times, as interactive as that place sounds, it's just, just one Apostle's blessing away from falling off and not doing much. So, in Sweden, just a local small tournament, says Olesh. Very cool. Here we go, here we go. Alrighty. Man, I wish this had some hit. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try to share that list later, at least what I've been doing all right with. It's a weird list. Every other game I'll, I mean, I played, I think since then I've played two tournaments. I got a 4-1 and then I got like a 2-3. All raises, but like I said, I think the, one of the other reasons I like the deck so much is it's always in every game. There's always like, it comes down to, kind of down to the wire. Good streaming deck. Yeah, I make lots of friends with that one, and not a chance. That's why you almost have to play it in the tournament. Here's to uh, block with these. Hold on a minute here. Oh, I can block, block, save. No, I just take it. A lot of fun to play, and no one expects it, says Olesh. It's my ammo all day long. All right. We'll be able to keep this dude back. Ah, uh, shoot. Don't really have to worry about much. I'm going to... I'm just going to let this through. All right. Come on over. Can't expect too much amplification here. do much else. I guess I could pro-red that. At least swing for two. I'll try that. I 
Our chef weapon surprise, Fearland. Come on, call red. Let's be over no matter what, pretty quick. <laughs> Keep red back. Attack for two. Hopefully he's sitting on a bunch of battle rages that are going to be pointed at the standard bearer. Let's see. Nice little fog creature. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and by it. Which is why it's so good with first strike. You deal the damage, and then you fog. Hmm. I will block. I will fog. And I will F6 myself. Comfy cushions. Syscom says just dropped in to say hi. I'll have to watch the rerun. Ooh, hey, look at that. Well, at least we blocked it. Note to everyone out there, I learned the hard way a couple years back, Flaring Pain turns off protection from blankety blank. Like if you had a protection from red creature just then, like if this blocked, it would have been able to kill it because uh, it counts as prevention. Scary stuff. All right. Well, I'm uh, just going to sit back and hopefully now we're getting flooded. The pythons were great. Lovecraft, what are you talking about? No one expects a Spanish Inquisition. I'm reading up, sorry. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they don't know that flying pain trick because one or two more spells. This is looking grim. One or two more uh, swings here and he, he'll have it because that protection from red isn't even going to work if flying pain's on the stack. I was on the receiving end of a... Uh, let it live a little bit more here. I was on the receiving end of a, uh, or I had a Guardian of the Guild pack, and I was bone splittered up to the wazoo, and I was going for it. Combat, flaring pain. I'm like, what are you doing? And then blop. <laughs> it was like five, six years ago. First time I'd ever seen that work. I was like, whoa. Didn't see that coming. Okay. Got to stay back. Boy, not liking our chances here. We've. Just holding a basic, not feeling good. Monty Python. Oh, I gotcha. All right, here we go. If you don't know, you're up for a couple of hours. Oh, um, yeah, there's there's quite a few hours out there now. I know the um, not good here. We've got to kill the kiln fiend, and we've got to respect the cyclops. So, uh, kind of forced double block here, especially. Uh, yeah, he turns on flaring pain. This one's over, folks. I mean, the Umbrals will keep it alive. But we're not going to live to see that because he's going to pump that probably. I doubt he doesn't have another spell here. Yeah. Dead meat. Double fall to the Kiln Fiend deck. Uh, where's my Dawn Charms now? How far along are we? We are one and two. We are going into round four next because we are going to get Chumped. Plop. All right. Here we go. Run right at it again. Let's go. This makes me want to start playing Vapor Snag and Blitz. Yeah, that Vapor Bounce is so, so many times it's so superior. To Siri 84 had a really cool list that the last challenge uh, was talked about quite a bit. Very, you want to talk tempo. That's just like the King Tempo deck. Very cool looking. Just always doing stuff. Very nice. I'd play it, but I don't have four dayses. I gave them away to you guys for winning prizes and stuff. <laughs> and a little too too pricey to uh, splurge on three or three or four of them. I think I've only got one days left. 
Maybe two. Not sure. Get blitzed, says Mech Man. Yes. Hopefully we don't get blitzed again. Or elfed again. Yeah, even the burn matchup was pretty close there. But it's kind of cool. I was just talking to a little fight this morning on a chat, and we were uh, just marveling. I know I, I mentioned this last time with Heroic, but it just blows my mind that this deck has always existed, but it was never put together. And yet, here it is. Very cool. I mean, it's not like a new set of cards came out, and it just showed up, and it's like, hey, look at this. We'll keep this. If we can get that Deathblade Elite alive... Of course, that doesn't bode well with it. It's a swamp. I'll bring this out. Here's a scenario like if they do drop Kombaji, which is here, if this is mono black, it's always fun to enchant it and just smash. Here we go. I don't think it's going to live very long, though. I'll have to bring out that cartouche. Pronto! I'll drop here. I'm going to save the ethereal armor for something else. But I do want this to withstand something outside of an edict. First strike. You got the block. Do I want to use this awesome ability? Yes, I do. See if there's illegal blocking going on. I've got the most aggressive candle. I got some, uh, some burn in the background here. It's just it's one of those cinder ones. It doesn't have a wick. It's got a um, well, I can't really tip it, or I'd get wax all over the keyboard. It won't be the first time I've ruined a keyboard, but it's just going to town. It's it's like a it's a very uh, needy candle. It's like listen to me, look at me. I'm going crazy over here. Yeah. All right. Put down anything. I'm going to kill it. And I will keep that warrior alive if he disfigures it. Because I want to I keep uh, that for edict bait. Sweet mood lighting, says World Hates Paul. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for chiming in. And joining us today. Could definitely be doing better. Like this card a lot. Boop. Yeah, that's where all the California fires start. No, no joke. And all those mudslides. God, that is just it's terrible. Like this perfect storm without, with one storm. I think it sprinkles a little bit and the hillsides come down. There's nothing to hold anything back. All right. Should we try to shut the door here? I've got protection. I'm going to, I'm just going to go here. I've got bodyguard backup. Here we go. Coming on through. We're on heroic, less heroic. Yes, I'm not. I'm not being very heroic. Bodyguard heroic. A lot of the lists are running bodyguard now. Two, three. I'm running four. Never not want to see it. Verdict. All right. Okay, let's lose this. No disfigure. I was just saying that's the one. He promised me so much more this morning, so much like a man. <laughs> ah, shoot. Let's see. Well, I'll at least try to make this pro black. As we'll probably eat a another edict here. How many has he got? Yep, there it is. Dunk. The one thing that gets around Umbra. Splat. Trouble in paradise. Yep, here come the lands. Oh man, you know what's coming next? The chittering rat. Gonna lock us out. I'll make that thing a 4 4 if he does it two turns in a row. Hey, alright, I don't mind that. Gary shows in uh, another land to power the chittering rat. When we need him, we draw him. Or when we don't need him, we draw him. When we do need him. Ah! Hey! All right. Okay. Second time we've seen steps. Second time we liked it. 
Note to self. Hopefully he's just on disfigure, one land, and he's got the edict, but I am not going to wait around for Mr. Chittering to show up. I just, I really want to see a disfigure here. No? All right. Yep. There's that. Seven for that. Well, at least we uh, didn't pile any resources into that. And the edict's dead, and he's at one card. Choo-choo! Land train coming through. <laughs> Thank goodness for the step there. I don't know. I've, so far, this tournament, I'm feeling like uh, more of the blind count being the issue there, but I don't know. I, I still think 17 basics is probably the way to play this best. All right. <sighs> Take four. Oh, God. I am not. I can't. Well, I'll wait till this hits. <laughs> I got to take that much damage. All right. I've got to draw to make this thing work. A 6-6 six, six rat. That's right. I ain't going to win this game with taking four a turn. Take four now. Hope for the best. I do not want to be able to. At least they've got the cool artwork, though. Right? Ah, okay. Game two, I'm going to draw seven lands. Most decks are going to beat me. Here we go. Not the creatures. Soul Eater's a nice uh, edict mop. Gets around a lot of stuff. I think I'll bring in two of these. I'm going to lose one Chow Mano. And one Defiant Strike. And go from there. All right. My God. I have to hang up my heroic hat if I can't pull off a 3-2 here. This is ridiculous. All right. Finally a good hand. Keep this. I think the play here is to lead off with the Trailblazer. Just because uh, this figure is about the only thing here. Yeah, we brought in two more creatures for two spells. Soul Eater is not going to be doing much of its trick work there, but I want it for other reasons. All right. Bodyguard. Seeker. Next turn. We got backup. We got Edict Insurance. Feeling all right. All right. So has anybody seen that um, Goblin Aristocrats deck? In the chat, it seemed like everybody was uh, either really against it or liked it. Does look awfully janky, but who knows? One of those decks that might just 5 0 once, get, get attention, and then disappear. I know I've built plenty of those. All right, we got our first real creature as far as uh, damage goes here. Bodyguard backup, soul leader. No rats. Don't chittering me. Sign and blood yourself again. Hey, look at that. Well, we'll choose an artifact. It's better than losing both. Maybe we'll need four lands. Oh, four beats. <laughs> yeah, I just can't get past... Uh, every time I don't play Macabres in my sideboard, I run into Tron with uh, the lockout, and it's just... It gets maddening. All right, at least I don't have uh, Chittering Rats bait here, but don't have much else either. I'm not quite sure. I'm never on Reddit. It's a cesspool of negativity in my experience, but maybe it was. What do we got? Come on, let's pull one of these off. 
Wretch Mind. We just mentioned that in the video. Man, that's some art. Bam. I've never once been on Reddit, said <laughs> T-Core. Yeah, your, your blood pressure is probably lower because of it and a few other things. That is a... Uh, only time I liked Reddit, it was the Mythbusters special. They did a bunch of stuff where they had people chime in, and my kids all like Mythbusters, so. Yeah, and Mchimsky, I'm kind of with you. Love Discord, but, man, I'm on there like twice a month now. Just eats up your afternoon. Can I please get a spell? This is getting ridiculous. All right, well. Here we attack with everything here. Make them block. And let's, uh, I guess we'll mutagenic this. Go from here. Turn this stuff on. And here, bring the metagame cap up. F6. That's right. <laughs> I know. Oh, admin 777. Ah, yeah. That's for the old timers of propaganda. Our original supporters. We were always so positive and happy about the format that we always wanted to yell from the treetops about it and so we decided we would always talk in all caps and it's kind of backfired a little bit because everybody's just like why are you mad at me and it's like it's not that <laughs> it's just we're excited and it's kind of silly in retrospect but hey it's what we do man so if you feel like uh capping up that's what it means all right Provoke here, even doing some work, letting stuff through. Good times. Should have probably kept that uh, bond, oh, the, the centaur back. The one thing I hate about discard, and I love discard. I really like black a lot. But it's like right now, if he's holding Retchmine, your opponent's hellbent. It's just like, ugh. That's it's why I've always been kind of reluctant to put it in a uh, the land destruction deck because you're kind of making them discard by not being able to play their stuff. I don't want to take time and resources out of cards and make them have to do it proactively thin out their hand. I want to have to pitch stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. This is the list. Oh, okay. Very cool. Alrighty. Good grief. Hmm. Well, go here, here, and here. Now, which to provoke? Let's see. We'll draw this guy here. Yes. Make sure I've got my propaganda play mat, says Mike Man. Yes, sir. Very cool. Up here. God, I wish I had a spell. It'd be so nice to kill that damn witch. But we are just drawing nothing that we need. All critters. We well, only took out two spells. Feels like we took out the whole deck. And I lose. I use the two bit came in to beat my opponent into submission. Oh, I, I got it. <laughs> yeah, the old cardboard sword fighting. Always around Christmas time. I love that. And all the wrapping papers are exhausted. Kids get paper cuts. Good times. All right, well, this is a pretty easy uh, situation. There's one of our dudes. Interesting spot. Can't really attack. He's got the witches on trip hammer. Not what we needed. Good grief. Let's do this again. Yoshin Yoko, yep. <laughs> I always like to poke fun at myself for, uh, I just like to make fun of myself. I don't need a reason, damn it. And take yourself too seriously these days. 
Arr. Definitely can't take me too seriously the way today is shipping out. Good grief. Alrighty. Out of the woods with the pain. What do we got here? Can I do two? He's getting in that mode where he almost can't trip witches because I'm going to start eating his life up. Let's turn this on. Boy, I really want to spell. Spell, please. Spell, please. No rats for you. Patone. All right, here we are, here we are. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, so there will be no more uh, Key and Peele skits, unfortunately. Like I said at the top of the show, there was a correlation in the two videos that got kicked, and they both had Key and Peele skits for our little bathroom breaks. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting setup. Definitely not out of the gates. There's so much firepower Black has. There's one of them. Boink, all of a sudden, witches are good again. Gary. Gary beats. All right, he is tapped out. Unless he's running snuff out. Thank God. Jeez. All right. Let me see here. Actually, if I do that on that, that would work. That works there. That's a three spot. Let's see. Double provoke. <laughs> yeah. Give him a call. What do you guys think here? This is a very interesting scenario. I can't... If I put it on Death Blade... You know, I actually think the play is to put this on Death Blade. If he reacts, I can bodyguard. Kill the Rager. I think this uh, goes on here. Good old bodyguard. Attack, 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 attack. So th this one, it's okay if you die. Let's have you die to him. Now this one, let's make sure it kills that. Here we go. Must block, must block. Yes. And yes. Going to be a... Well, this is a long first game, isn't it? Where's my pen? It's always by my ear. Well, it's been a colorful variety. Elves, burn, kiln fiend, mono black. Yes, I want to use the ability. Here we go. So yeah, what I have found though, I know I am got quite the crush on Fairy Macabre. But it's for good reason. Let's do some damage here first. I don't even really have to prevent that. I'll prevent this one. Let's see, we get a 3-3 three, three in. We've got our first strike dude. Okay, but uh, when I do run relics and stuff, you can trip them to draw and, and such, but I just, uh, I've always found I really like to, oh, he's got the 1-1 one, on one there. Who am I gonna choose? You. Um, I just find, being an uncountable answer, just really, really like it. So, like, if we were going against Tron right now, it, cross my fingers, I hope we don't face it, because it's amazing how quickly they can get that uh, Marasa lock going, and you've got to disrupt their graveyard. And, if you, and it has to be uncountable, because they run a lot of counter magic, too. So, mm -hmm. all right, let's see here. Uh, all right, I don't know what that number is, Little Fight, but thank you, I guess. All right, let's choose them first. Got to be careful with the witches. 
And then I'm going to say I'll sacrifice uh, this to this to make it protection from black. So Gary can't attack. Of course, I think another Gary is dropping. That's probably the play here. Or not. What's this? Tendrils on the first striker. Out! And the life comes back. Damn. Black. Surprised he didn't grab Seeker there. Interesting. Must have uh, some Phyrexian Ragers, Chittering Rats. Didn't like that first strike. Have to block stuff. Don't be another witch. What's your take on Fume Spitter versus Liliana Spectres in NBC? I would lean towards Fume Spitter. I think that's a very underused card. I mean, Tribe sure doesn't want to see it. They both have their spot. Spectre's an awesome card, too. Okay. If I do that, that'll be a 4 4 with first strike, with life, with that. I oh, want this rock here. Dang. This is turning into a match. I thought we were going to be able to shut the door here a little sooner, but at least we've got Gurmag Blocker. Can't really attack here. Darn it. Tendrils, why can't you do the better artwork? Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah, it's really good in Tortured Existence. There's another Fume Spitter card. It's way worse. I've seen a few people play it. I think because it's a zombie and not a horror. Well, shoot. Let's see. That'll be there, that, that. Alrighty, let's see. We'll go here with this. Play it on that. I think we're in Swing Town now. I believe. Five nine for strike. Come on, sucker. Start chipping into something here. No. Want to get rid of some of this devotion to black here. I'm really worried. If he pings that. Yeah. Or is he pinging? Yep. Thought so. I'll hit you. But here comes the edict food, right? And the, a lot of mana to back it up. Yeah, Nimchimski, that's a great point. Yeah, you don't see much uh, with uh, Grim Harvest anymore. Son of a gun. Beautiful play. Look at that. Thought we were safe. Thought we were dodging edicts. But no. Unmake shows up. And that, if I remember right, has a great quote. A favorite trap of the vanity mirror. A bewitched piece of glass that traps the looker's soul and does away with the body. <laughs> That's just right out of Grimm's fairy tales. I love it. Beautiful. Third time we've seen Step, and I like it. Step seems good. Right. Very small sample size. I'll put three good. And bad still has yet to have a hash mark. Hey, look at that. Now we're going to win. I'm not going to leave that up for a hand that's probably just full of discard here. It's going south quickly. Good grief. I've got 13 minutes left and I haven't even won a game. Note to self, says Nim Jimski. All right. Come on. Shut the door on me here, buddy. I miss playing with Gurmag. About the only deck I like. <laughs> Welcome to Propaganda, everyone. Stop me if you've seen this hand before. We need anything. Draw land. Draw land. Draw land. Draw land. Ugh. I know there's so many sweet cards, right? And we're at one. Are we going to get sign and blood to death? No, we get this, but we can't survive that down a game against NBC. Drawing a lot of L's on my paper today. Bam! That was two! Forgot! Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Son of a gun! We have only won against Burn. We've lost to Kiln, we've lost to Elves, and we've lost to Mono Black. Yowza! Uh, I'll be back right after this. Use facilities. Hopefully we can pull out a 2-3 just like last time, unfortunately. I'll be right back. Boop. 
Billy Matherson was a mild-mannered eight-year-old boy until one day he stuck a fork in an electric socket and became Electro Boy. Electro Boy, save the universe. Electro Boy, beating the enemy. I'm so bored. Teddy was having the most boring afternoon until he met the coolest stranger ever. Hey, kid, you want to go for a ride? There's some candy in it for you. Saturdays can be so much fun when you meet a new secret friend. Man, that babysitter is so cute. I totally want to make out with her. Yeah, but she'd never make out with little kids like us. But what if we forced her to? The Luxacoff's Wild Mongrel Bubble Gum blows colored bubbles. Changes colors while you chew. Discard your old brand for something new. Mm, the Luxacoff's Wild Mongrel Bubble Gum. It's yummy. Every day at Magic's Game Testing Facility, crack geneticists are hard at work engineering new creatures to help you annihilate your opponent. Mistakes do happen. Magic the Gathering. Beat your friends. From the volcano of Baraku to the leech-ridden swamps of Agadir, cast off all your inhibition at the only casino in all Dominar. Experience the pinnacle of personal pleasure. Venture boldly at Rakdos Casino and may all your underworld dreams come true. Rakdos Casino, the place for premium pleasure. And we're back. All right, let's pull this off. Good grief. There's an ocean of LL. And what did I say? I didn't want to see because we've got to shut the door quickly if this is pack in the moments piece. But the good news today, despite licking our wounds, is that we haven't seen a repeat deck. So one of my favorite things in propaganda lore is the uh, when we when we have a nice rainbow of, of options here. It makes for at least good viewing. Aha! Oh God, Tron says that's our business. I know it heard me. Now let's shut the door quick here. We've got double tower. Secret of the way. I'm not too worried about life here. I think I'm just gonna alpha strike. At least they've got some white bordered Tron lands. <laughs> it was so entertaining. I missed two picks in my draft. Not even mad about it. Oh, wow. Thank you, admin. Makes my day, buddy. All right. Draw some more hate. Come on, baby. It's going. I can't have. If a green source hits, our attacking's over. Almost. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's, it's all about. Bleh. This is like a, a puking hand. You just bleh, just got to come out with it. Woo! -hoo. All right. Well, let's turn on the uh, protection suite. And you know, I actually think Deathblade is the better play here over the Seeker. If he does have something like a Seagate or drops a creature, we'll still be able to get in. So I'm going to favor that. Normally I wouldn't. This time I will. Coming over five. Come on, let's... You know, when I first played this deck, and albeit it was the first week, it was new, nobody really knew about it, I'm wondering, too, if... Uh, I mean, we've, we've had a little bit of a flood issue, but that aside, it does seem like people have come around and knowing about how to kind of combat the deck and play against it. Yeah. 
Here comes stirrings. Adam JM777. Seriously, that is warms my heart. I appreciate it. All right. Up one game. Haven't written a W since round two. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't really punted much. I just, uh, yeah, I just, opponents have had it and we haven't. Okay, so against Tron, bodyguards definitely probably out here. Covers in. Let's keep that for uh, the wall combo blockers. Same with that. We can lock them out of creatures. So probably just going to lose bodyguards here. Maybe keep uh, one. And there's a seeker. Go from here. Let's go. Boom. All right. Well, I got to keep this. One good thing this does mulligan well with one hand is we noticed with the burn deck we won with one land with this plan here. Problem being they're probably packing like 18 moments pieces in their hands. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, we I do put in the hours on that, but I was uh put on this earth to edit and I love to edit. I do it professionally and even in my spare time I like to do it as long as it's a topic I like. So uh I don't know, I've just always been loud and proud about the format. Always want wizards to stand up and notice it, but awfully quiet on their end, usually. One of these years. That's an interesting play. Man, that is a bright forest. Ugh. No, thank you. All right. Let's go. Um, draw some cards, see some options. some protection we've got an open door we're gonna take it now you see mr. little fight what card do we want to see now is the fairy macabre he can fog us once but can't start looping it if we had other options it can be they can be countered that's why I just I do have a big crush on that card but and in the mono black deck it's really cool because it's meant the difference in uh, the land destruction deck that I played last week I should preference um, there's been a lot of um, what would you call like you know when they when they bring in the edicts I mean we don't run that many creatures so I leave in like the witches to eat up edict baits but it's always fun to just hard cast those too scarecrow tron what what is the big payoff Probably on the um, the Fang Fangren build with the five life pitching. I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe they saw they they saw the clan. Maybe they got two moments peace in their hand, and they're just gonna kind of try to slow roll it. Not sure what the play here is. Crusher Orox herd maybe. <laughs> Making me nervous. Regardless, crop rotation. Oh, so good. See, this is when I really like to play black land destruction because we all know how often I bitch and complain about art and especially lands and especially white borders and it is so fun when you're facing this kind of deck to pick on them <laughs> you're like yeah take that i think skyguard here just because of the prevalence of green he might i might be um i'm gonna drop seeker and then I'll drop bodyguard. Still not too disappointed to see in that. And we will attack. Angler passes damage prevention plus regeneration. At least no Kron, I suppose. Let's hope. Yes, Tron, please get wrecked. My ego is bruised enough. Always learn something. I've come I've almost I play decks like that. I'm just like, yeah, we got this. It's not going to be a problem at all. And it's like, bam, close slouch, bam, flood, bam, this. But that is not just popper. That's just what makes magic so great. Whenever I have times of not wanting to play, it's usually because I found a, a new deck that's doing well and does well just enough. And you end up like going, eh, next. 
colorless protection from color this sucks okay but we can get a blocker or should I hold out for that I can at least gain three life here and I just think we attack with everything this is running fog <laughs> Alrighty, we'll go like this. What should we call here, guys? Red, black, blue, green. What do you guys think we should call it? I want mutagenic to go through. They're probably on some weird Tron list. Oh, they are all four. All right, well, justified and with our record, we're not doing much better. Violet, says Mike Man. <laughs> green, says Kenwaku. Yeah, outside of the mutagenic hiccup, I think green's probably the best way to go. Double check. Green. Gain three life. And not pulling any uh, tricks here. I'll drop this out. Keep them on D. Life's not that important. A nice salmon pink Tron Beetle. Hey, I don't think I've seen you in the chat. Thank you for chiming in, sir. So we're doing so abysmally. And come forth, please. Our uh, Fairy Macabre. That would be really nice right now. Or would have been nice to have there. Eggs and Marauder. Yep. That life's not going anywhere anytime soon. That's for sure. Alrighty. Well, I can't really fake it with that, can we? I'll go like this. To blast or not to blast. Doesn't have fog here. I'll do it. Let's go. There's no fog mana up. I know he's gonna start getting five life at a pop here pretty close. Let's get in some damage here. Do it, says Kenwaku. Just found your stream. It's really entertaining. One of the better pop streams I've watched. Thank you, sir. Just wish we were playing a little bit better. Not playing a little bit better, just having a little bit better luck. We lost to Elves, got screwed, then we beat Burn, and then we lost to Kiln Fiend, double, double, and Mono Black, double, double. This Mono Black so good at clawing its way back to relevance. Green was a good call, guys. And down comes Karasha. Unexpected results. <laughs> okay. Well, I get another first strike. I might be able to kill the crusher. I sit back and first strike him to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could do that. That'll be a six six. And then we can just ditch Chow Mano. Darn guy's got to have a flyer. Shoot. This is when the tide turns. And there's another Pulse of Marasa. So that will be, uh, let's see, 6-6. Six, six. That'll die. That'll hit. I can ditch one of those. Yeah, the only Tron list that isn't maddling, madding, <laughs> maddeningly boring. Ah! I can't speak. I'll take as many losses as it takes so long as my son doesn't lose. They've got their uh, finals in basketball coming up this this evening, a little bit of next week. It's, it's do or die time, so maybe uni in the universe I'll just ex accept all the beatings, <laughs> act as an aegis for my son, be like, ah. I'll sit in the hand a lot. 
Oh, I'm waiting for a trick here. I'm going to cast it to trigger it, and then I'll sacrifice the Chow Manos to the uh, Crusher. Should just be illegal to run blue in Trondex. That solve everything. I'll drink to that. And here comes the life. But he doesn't really have any eggs out yet. But still. All right. First off, I'm going to grant this protection from green again. Why not? We'll say green because we're going to lose one of them. I'll lose this and this. I'll block here. That's too good of a creature to lose, isn't it? Here and here. Boom, Baba. Down the go. So Tron less Tron then. And yeah, what makes Tron the official title? Feeling pretty Tronny here. Tronny? <laughs> One Marasa and we're we're dead meat. Don't often see a crusher die in combat. Yeah, or the thing that block it live. That's good times. Ooh, this is fun. Protected from green. He's only got to block with his uh junk there. Yeah, Crusher. Tronny boy, the maps, the maps are calling. Yeah, that. Thank you guys, that pro green. I mean, I would probably would have done it anyway, but that's paying a lot of dividends there. Can't really block it. Crusher comes out. Anything comes out, he's got to block it. But not out of the woods here. Five life at a pop. He can start stringing stuff along. He might pull some Ross or some Tricknology back. Who knows? There we go. That's interesting. I wouldn't have brought that back. I would have brought back the gift. It's just a block and then draw a card. I don't think the Crusher gets you anything. I might have to make this Tron build. I have the lands and it's the least repulsive Tron deck I've seen yet. Yeah, the one time I played Tron, it, it had a very heavy green slant like this. So throw in some Aurochs and call it a day. Yeah, don't forget there's also that elf that's, um, God, what is that elf called? I think you go and search for every two mana, you, you get like another 2-2 two, two elf. It costs two and a green. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It used to be an elf list a while ago. Not anymore. Yeah, see here's, he's probably got, this is when he's got moments peace. And this is going to suck. If, if uh, he moments pieces here, it's kind of game. Big X Green. I built Auroch Tron list last night too. Very cool. Lion War Sentinel. I think that's the one. Remember not to cap up when you do searches or on card names. That'll throw it off. Well, at least I got a, some more food. Let's see. I don't want to. Yeah, I'll attack with both. Not true, says Little Fight. About what? Yep, here comes the moment's piece, right? No? What am I think? Oh, I forgot that. Okay, first punt of the day. I think we lost this one anyway. But that was a. Uh, he doesn't have that. That has to attack. Should have kept that back for more food. But what are you going to do? Let me reveal here. He's got a map. Hmm. So let's lose the Umbra and a plane. Click it very nice and slowly. You would think we've punted a lot more because of our record, but we'll call it a flunt when you're flooded. Flunt! 
Yep, yep. All right. Soul Eaters. Not sure. Chalmano's feeling pretty underwhelming with this, this build of it. It was very nice to have, but I only want to have two of them in this, this one here. Um, we'll bring in two of these for the big boys. What do you guys think of that? That's dangerously close. Flunt. Sounds like flump. <laughs> flump feels like how I'm playing. Actually, aside from that, like I said, first competitive game, we've either gotten blown out or done the blowing out here. Only one being burn. Ah, let's go with this. Be able to hold off Soul Eater. It'd be nice if it shows up at the right time. Yeah, we want to play first. All right, all right. I'll keep. It's got a flyer, so this doesn't feel as valuable. I've been really tempted to run that one that costs one and two, just maybe two of them in a deck like this. But probably have to go up to 18 lands to run that. Let's get busy. Go for speed. Yes, Ken Waku, I agree, and I will try my best, sir. Yuck. Not liking that. Let's get this nice and big and huge. Come on. No more creatures and some tricks and lands, please. Let's go. Well, that's another creature, kind of. Cartouches are interesting. I thought it was a real-world word when I first saw them. I'm like, what does that mean? I've never heard that word before. Because usually magic cards take on real-world words. I don't know how else to say that, really. We are forsaken, says the Star's Business. Yes, I love it. All colorless. Come on, something. All right, well, target this. Get in on our damage while we can. You know, we're running four Fairy Macabras. I would really like to see one for a little bit of insurance against a... Um, Pulse of Marasa going awry. Let's bring this in and hope we hit him um, up against the wall. Can we finally win another one? So we can go 2-3 and avoid a very embarrassing 1-4. Who knows? Hey! Ah, well, that kind of blew. Even though we drew the step three times and we liked it every time. I don't know. What's the vote on that, guys? You like it? We end up going 2-3 with this list. One of the cards I really like here is Aura Fracture. Um, really good against the mirror. Very good against uh, Hexproof. Just being able to shut off stuff at the expense of Flood. And as we all know, I love Fairy Macabre because it's uncounterable. Once this is out and sitting there, it's kind of uncounterable too. So uh, I'm, I've always kind of been a fan of that. Um, Define Strike really earning earning its uh, keep there i think i was wrong last week to i kind of went all enchantment a few weeks ago with a build like this and i think we went two three then too so uh maybe heroes aren't my thing i don't know i've always liked white weenie and uh outside of twitch outings usually do a little bit better than this i think i've i've gone two three once with uh with it solo but usually three twos are better with it's a pretty nice fast aggressive deck um Pretty darn low land count, but um, yeah, I will defend Fairy Macabre till, till my grave. Uh, it can fit in any list, it can't be countered, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, when I face off against the reanimate decks, a lot of times it um, puts you right in it, it shuts off their 5 5 hex proof, gets you a free 2 2 flyer. Very cool there. So, yeah, little fight challenge me up. We'll, we'll get in the game here, it's still under the two hour mark, and uh, we'll see what we can see. I'll um. Let me go over while, uh, while I've got everybody here. Um, it's a challenge when you're ready, buddy, and we'll, we'll go up. My Mono Black Land Destruction deck, I'll go over the list real quick here. Um, right now, I'm running 20 lands uh, up from 19. Two Radiant Fountains, all the rest Swamps. Pete Boggs got the old school ritual now. I, like, I found the old artwork. I was like, oh, man, that brings me back. Two Knights Whispers. We've got all four Witches main now. Four Sun and Blood fill out our two spot. Uh, for rats, for sins, for ice quakes, for earth, four befouls, two tendrils of corruption of the good art persuasion, and uh, for Gurmag anglers. 
which are big time finisher in our sideboard for doom blades three edicts four rats and the four macabras which are really good against the uh um whatchamacallit the uh mono black hateful stuff so yeah and then next week we've got a player player supported deck that i've been uh yet to sleeve up but it's a teachings uh not teachings based it's a uh tortured existence based style deck so not 100 percent sold on pete bog after watching the last video multiples without a swamp is rough yes but that's when we were running all four radiant fountains too um it's actually my favorite card in the deck i love first turn pete bog followed by any other mana source turns on all of this these 16 cards of hatred and you know, i've never seen chittering rats do more work in a deck than this one well that's a bit of a uh, lie there because uh, rat lock's pretty nasty too but anyway little fight we up for a game or should i uh just call call it a day here i guess we'll call it um thank you for joining us sorry i couldn't do better than two three here guys uh next week might not be that much better just because uh we're going to probably be on rogue there and i'll have to uh go go crazy actually let me see yeah i'll try this new blue weenie deck i've been uh tweaking around here whoop change things up a bit we'll get in one more game here before we call it a day everybody and let's see uh, we're on the draw i'll keep it this only needs two mana very weird list i saw what about three years ago this list five owed it broke a lot of blue rules i just like it not enough to put my money where my mouth is but we shall see. By the way, what happened to Ratlock? I don't know. You know, I actually just faced it the other day, but fortunately I was on land destruction and I was able to Ratlock them. So, Poink, what's this? I mold twice for you. You didn't need to. Oh, <laughs> all right. Here we are. We're on the draw with Z1 land. And it'll be a fast one. Appreciate that, actually. Let's go with... The Cloudfin Raptor out. And we'll see what we can do here. All right. So that was there. You're not surprised we lost to Kiln and Burn. Elves, like I said, we just, you have to draw that, um, what do you call the uh, Death Blade Elite? That is just, has to be there. Has to be there early and often with First Strike. Mm -hmm. Getting roasted here. Yeah, I agree. Bounce and discard on a flickering stick is dope. Unless you're on the receiving end of it. Man, that is just maddening. We don't draw an island here. We're dead meat. There we go. That to roll here. All right. Going to slow roll this. How often do you see me behind fairies and islands? Not often. I actually love tempo. Probably one of my very favorite styles, but I'm too much of a contrarian to play popular things. Here we go. Yeah, this list skews a lot of the uh, pillars of the format. has a ton of creatures. Um, and, you know, Fathom Seer, great card. Nobody's playing it anymore. This is Gush on a Stick. I turn two islands and it flips over pretty cool obviously a lot slower and more uh, constrained than gushes but all right at this here we go join the blue slide at pop again <laughs> the blue slide <laughs> professor dan dan in the house thank you sir i gotta remember i can do stuff on their turn this whole blue thing is new to me i'm used to blowing up lands and turning things sideways all right I'll do the hateful move here. Zip. Zip crunch. Bing, pow, bang. I'm not even sure if this list runs ninja or not. I'm pretty sure it does. I haven't seen it in a while. I probably should have gone over the list first, but I thought uh, we weren't going to be playing. So, hey, oh, there we go. We get a creature. He gets a spell. Not feeling good here. Drop this. I wish they would come up with new morph options. Like you could choose just a, uh, what the hell is that? Some 
wispy sunrise sort of weird looking thing. I guess being a spirit and all, but or is it a spirit? I got that right. Nope. No nothing. It's a void. Oh, I'm singing the blues. Good one, Nimchinsky. All right. Well, that's some good taste in art right there. That'd be terrifying to see in real life an arch that was just like suspended like that. I know a lot of places in Utah have similar things, boy. It's pretty crazy. All right. I don't know if I can race this. Two, four. I've got to put a lot more stuff out, don't I? Well, let's hit here. Is this morph it or we'll turn these two? Bring it on back. All right. I've got this. This. Try to turn on as much uh, firepower. What do we got? <laughs> Four a turn. If he has any burn, it's kind of over. Discard your hand, then draw two cards. Yikes. Good, one of them was land. Might just be able to pull this off. Woohoo! Four, two, four, six, eight, twelve, ooh. Here we go. Next turn, that raptor will be a little bit bigger. I've got to keep counters back, though. Hopefully he's not listening to audio. <laughs> I've kind of been one of those I have to counter everything modes right here. Bam! Oh, that'll probably do it. Yeah, we got to kill him in one turn. We're going to need a whole lot of stuff to do that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do this. See how close we could at least get him here. Two, three. Well, we would have been. No, I guess we could have maybe pulled something off like that. But Kaplunk. I had one more land. I could have vapor snagged, maybe turned that over a little bit more. But he's got us on upkeep. We'll go to game two. Deluxe casting counter spell. Never thought I'd see the day, says Cesar's business. You would be surprised. When I was in, in the invasion block, I played the uh, Mystic Snake combo deck with the uh, exclude, repeal. I was I was all over that. All right. These come in. These come in. This would be a good time to talk about the deck, right? So it runs three golems, the ninjas. Thorn ones can go out for this game. Stormbound Geists are main in this build. Again, this isn't mine. I, I forget long time ago I just was always kind of taken by it it was just all about um, this powering out it even runs uh, dream stalkers for big old blockers which I think we're probably gonna and a turn on cloudfin raptors that's always fun let's uh, I'll go like this Hoo see where we go down a game against burn pretty cool list though what's your guys favorite counter spell art I like this one for the old schoolness of it, but I know there's that one. Um, I I hate the aerobics lady. Oh, that's the worst counter spell ever. The worst. So what's everybody's thoughts on Lidlfight's, uh tech there with that whole discard your hand, draw two cards? We like this a lot. This is the kind of hand it usually normally has. Here we go. Melty Finger Man is best art, says Shirazamon. Original counterspell for sure. Yeah, there's one, I think, in the, what was that, some J set that came out, and they, it's it's got pretty cool artwork, too. But, yeah, the uh, Jazzercise lady's got to go. Oh, I'll counter anything that has that show up. All right. Well, outside of uh, the trickery shenanigans, I'm going to favor drawing the cards and powering this raptor up, hopefully to a beefy size. A little beefier than that. Seems like Magma Jet is better. Yeah, I would lean towards that too, Kenwaku. When you're screwed or flooded. Must feel a lot better though. I hate that card. The Amplifier Supreme. 
All right. Well, I'm going to draw quite a few cards this turn. I'll worry about counter spells for later. Attack! Raw. And come on back here, ninja. Yep, yep. I'll at least be able to block, trip, evolve, draw a card. Let's see. Come on. Uh. Yes. Okay. Drop this. Draw another card. Get a blocker. Good times. Fingers turning into noodles. Yes. Better be on a keto diet if you're a mage like that. Beautiful art. Is it a man or a woman? I think it's a woman. What does it matter? Ninja into miscreant. Yes, I have turned the evil corner. We just got fire blasted for one red. What gives? Yowza. Woman. <laughs> oh, you are listening. All right. Well, and I'll hold my multiple counter spells back for when it matters. Yeah, so uh, during the week, been getting home awfully early from been having a nice week as opposed to last week of work been meeting a lot of new streamers and uh always tickled 90 percent of them don't have any idea what propaganda is and nor should they always trying to spread the love share the channels do that sort of thing but forget the name of the player last night i should have written it down somewhere but uh he was pretty taken with uh flame tongue hot sauce that was pretty funny to him anyway to me i'm just like that's ah, old still got to do the sunscreen commercial Lovecraft 668, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, named Chimsky with the get snuffed. <laughs> the snuff out commercials. All right, down goes the ninja. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling the love of this card, at least in this kind of a scenario. Let's go. I'll attack with everything. Dangerous like boss women, says Lovecraft. Indeed. Three cards in hand. I think we're going to sit back. Just hold up counters. I'm thinking so. Trying to get rid of this dude. Let's see how far we can take this. Zip. Gonna fire blast it. Sackle. <laughs> Yay, so this is what it feels like, huh? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean. Charles Mingus has a song called Love is Dangerous Necessity. Mm. Kill that amplifier. Go and get. You fell victim to one of the glass classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known as this. Never going against a pauper when islands are on the line. Thank you for your reading that out loud. <laughs> All right, bring these back up. Not quite sure if I was being overly defensive or what, but boy, it just seemed like uh, Nerd of the Core and Company 8686, and I think uh, the Pithy Driller or somebody, just, it's like they showed up to just kibitz, nitpick, not sure. Seemed very sour. We're all about the love here, baby. You gonna bring the heat? Bring it somewhere else. This is Rogue Central, man. All right. Two, uh, 
two cards. I ain't afraid of you, sucker. Here we go. Nothing but love. That's right, Kenwaku. All right. Ooh. That ain't going to kill us. Not going to help us. But I got to stop a fire blast before that. Uh. Hiya. Jazz it up, says Nim Chimsky. I love, man, have you played that uh, Meat Boy? The Super Meat Boy. Oh, I love that game. So well done. In fact, I saw a documentary on it on Netflix that was really cool. It's very, uh, just these two dudes just putting, putting it all in for... Um, they lived in like this tiny little place and they I think it was like nine or ten months straight of just programming and coding and then there was some screw up when they actually made made it go public and it was it was just it's like really good TV. I was I was blown away by it. Let's go here. Attack, 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 keep the counters back. Made me rage so hard on the Xbox, said Shirazma. Yeah, it's that old school, just eighties, all about the um dexterity fingers just nothing nothing to do with remembering codes or anything is just how fast you can push those buttons i still get my kids sometimes with stuff like that one card i'll start preserving life here uh. <laughs> i'm not gonna let you kill yourself i'm gonna kill you <laughs> Take that. I won't even let you steal death away from It will be a blue creature that does you in. What would be the worst one? One Fathom Seer knockout. To even up the game at one one Suicide Prevention, all the bad manners. <laughs> Savage if I have played hundreds of games, we're always doing jerk moves like that. <laughs> What's he chiming in with? All right. Deciding game three. And then that will be it, folks. Got our life staffs. Haven't seen them show up. Vapor snag. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, our, our uh, Hydro Blasts are mostly going to be for permanence. Don't think that's going to be necessary there. Let's go. Mm. Blast the curse. You will not kill yourself. I will pull the sword from your hand and kill you myself. That is how Conan would like it. I don't think I've ever been happier with uh, that, that land destruction deck intro with that Conan, I just I wish there were more movies like that. If those anything comes to you guys, those iconic roles, especially you, Mike Man, or you know those movies with those just one or two lines that can kick off a show that might be somewhat relevant to the deck we're playing. I know it's always a reach. Chime in, that'd be cool. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Turn this along. This raptor's always good with ninjas in it. Or do I have one? Is it a bluff? I sure wish if they the next update that they do that Wizards makes it when it's visually when it's your turn, because I don't hear audio and that's usually how I, I get my cues as to what turn it is. So when I'm playing on Twitch tiny little you know the little white border here that i mean it, it could be way more pronounced or at least have an option where you right click and you say you know double the uh, obviousness of it because it'd be nice if it was like it glowed green or something sometimes uh, that gets me hey yeah 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 hmm i'm gonna kill this then I'm going to cast a life staff and pass the turn. There's a lot of cool phrases in the movie Bloodsport. Oh, I love Bloodsport. I was such a big Van Damme fan. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up, Olesh. Um, 
Look at this. What's better than preventing my friend from dying? I'll hit him for zero. Just to, the salty bird. Um, the blood sport. Yeah, I, I, I raised on like MMA and I was always into martial arts growing up. Taught it for a little bit out of high school and uh, just absolutely was obsessed with Van Damme in my early years. Always trying to do the splits and stuff. But yeah, I've probably seen blood sport a hundred times at least. Strange play. Kicks, yeah. All right, I'll have to write that one down. Blood sport. Yeah, there's a. Oh, but what I was I was getting at was um, there is a show on Amazon Prime called um, Jean Claude Van Johnston, <laughs> and it's as funny as it sounds. It's the most ridiculous. Pokes a lot of fun at himself. If you've seen any of those movies, I highly recommend it. It, it give it one or two episodes. It's only like six episodes long, but it's just a weird fun movie. I used to watch Blood Sports and Aliens every single day after school for about two years, says Shiraz. Good Lord. Wow. That's something. Can't claim that. I think The Goonies was the one I, I had on, like, repeat while doing homework for years and years, but um, I'm not sure what else there. Zip. Bring it on back. Don't you draw no cards. Zing myself. Zing myself and I. All right. Mm, yeah, all right. Let's keep it back. 12, 16, not doing much. Kickboxer movie. Oh, with Mike Tyson on it. Not sure. He sure turned into a sweetheart. Who would have thought that back in the 80s and 90s, biting people's ears and such? I was like uh, probably a bait, but life's getting a little too low to pull off. But who would have thought he'd be so endearing now in, in his older age? All right, I'll let this go. Splat! Best of the best. That's another one I used to watch a lot, too. Yeah, Tron Beetle. I was never into Turtles, but I know a lot of... Uh, I was just a little bit too old for it by the time the Turtles came around. My oldest liked it for a little while, some of the older reruns, but Tyson will always be a god regardless of the bad years. <laughs> and face tattoo. Lordy. That'd be a big note to self in the Tyson Chronicles. Who knows, though? And I know that he has that cartoon on uh, Adult Swim, Mike Tyson Mysteries or something. It's uh, it's actually pretty good, I th but it's because of Norm MacDonald. He kind of steals the show. Well, we're not doing anything here, just sitting around staring at ninjas, so let's get them out there. Maybe they'll eat some bolts, keep us alive. Yeah, Norm MacDonald, oh my gosh, he has some of the best comedy. I don't know if you guys have followed many roasts on Comedy Central, but he has um, the one he did. Everybody shows up with all these horribly raunchy, you know, just typical roast humor um, jokes, and he shows up and just completely cleans it up with like these 1930s ultra clean like bazooka joe comic style jokes and it was so masterful because the whole room if you guys have seen that it's awesome it's uh or if you haven't seen it go check it out it's awesome um yeah the whole room's just so nervous like has he got alzheimer's why this isn't funny and then it starts getting to him like no that's why it's funny i think this is this is kind of a nail biter we're down to the wire here Greatest ever, no question, says Shiraz. Shiraz, we gotta quit agreeing. We're too much alike. I swear to God, you're just my uh, European uh, or overseas counterpart. It's like a mirror universe. All right, this is feeling kind of good here. Edge of my seat here, says SRS Business. Yes, there's so much on the line. Put up a hundred tickets on this match. Remember, a little fight? <laughs> wink, wink. Come on, drop. I've yeah, I gotta keep. I gotta keep back here. A little fight sent me a message. 
stalling out burn is kind of like not being able <laughs> to all right can we do it do we got it does he got the fire blast Van Dam is a wise teacher it's just been neat to see Van Dam over the years he's really kept up pretty well but in fact there was another show with him that's a lot older called like JCVD or something and it was all about um, well, this is folly. I should draw first. It was all about just kind of atoning for the past because, you know, I think anybody in the Hollywood light that gets hit by it is blinded badly and always goes down the, the horrible road of coke and all these other things. And uh, it was just it was kind of endearing to watch him uh, kind of come to terms with all that. Who would have thought today's show would have devolved into Jean-Claude Van Damme talk? But hey, I, who knows? I stopped watching boxing when it went to when he went to prison no point anymore yeah boxing is boy that is it's it's so corrupt now it's like definitely the uh orso of syndicates behind that there's just all right safe to play we're just getting too much value out of this ninja yes i want to draw stuff one, two, three, four. Drop another one. Try to shut the door this next turn. Pretty hard for any deck to keep up with a steady stream of ninja bait. Doink! Three lands. Oh, I feel you, buddy. Story of my day, anyway. If you've got Fire Blast, you got me. Actually, if you've got any two-mana spell, you got me. I'll just tell you that on audio here. Oh, all right, everybody. Well, that was this blue weenie list. I think we went over it. Um, I'm, apologies to I'm not like they they're probably even around anymore. But um, yeah, it's just it's been in my list for a long time. But yeah, it runs 19 basics, four snags, four preordains, miscreant. No, um, just you know the big difference being the uh, fathom seer at the three count, dream stalker with the raptors has these main ninjas three spire golems and the geist kind of has a pretty good game against a lot of uh kill everything sort, sort of decks and such so anyway good games to you too sir anyway guys sorry couldn't do better with heroic went two three um some blowouts and uh yeah it was good times rise and fall of jack johnson no i have not named chimsky good for that but anyway if you do have any cool other ideas other than van damme-esque related things send them to pop again at gmail.com and uh, next week, uh, we're really leaning towards this uh, this new all-black uh, Torch of Existence deck. But if you're tuning in for a 5-0 or even a 4-1, it's probably the show to miss because I'm uh, not that good with Torch of Existence. But hey, we're here to have fun. And I uh, love the format, spread the word, all that stuff. So anyway, guys, it's been a blast. We'll see you next time here on Papaganda. Adios.